Uh, we don't have that photo. Instead, let's go to Uptown. We've got that standing by. Uh, live pictures right now over Uptown. And from here, you see gray skies. On the ground, you'll see nothing but snow. And you could see some of that snow on some of the tops of those skyscrapers out there. Uh, just a glimmer and glimpse of, of what's out there. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for staying with us through this special edition of Wake Up Charlotte Weekend. I'm Ben Thompson. Larry Springle joining us right now. And Larry, this uh, thing for folks just now joining us at the 10 o'clock hour, um, unfolding much like you guys had predicted. And, and, and it's an ice event for a lot of folks. And for folks yeah. in the mountains, they're getting some snow. No doubt about the mountains in here. This is more of an ice situation, not a big snowstorm. But yes, in the mountains. This is West Jefferson. First time we had a chance to take a look. And you can see it's dark there. It's windy and it's snowing. That's downtown West Jefferson, North Carolina, up in Ashe County. We scanned the skies at Beach Mountain, kind of pan the camera around and show you there's heavy snow up there. They obviously get a lot of snow up there. And we take a look at Boone where there's a little bit of traffic going on where the streets are covered in snow. They're expecting probably they've already had around four and a half to five inches, expecting maybe another seven inches. Add that a couple people on the streets. Well, let's take a look at those tree limbs right there. They're moving. There's a lot of wind. So at the moment, winds have calmed down. But later today in Boone, they're going to see winds gusting over 55 miles per hour there. And more local, we uh, talk about Rock Hill South Carolina. Once again, it looks like a winter wonderland. That's mainly sleet that has fallen there. A little bit of uh, rain, freezing rain mixing in with that. Here it is for the Charlotte Metro area, the entire region. Uh, here's what we're looking at today. Sleep continues right through late afternoon, maybe into early evening. And as far as freezing rain, that's rain. That's the ice that we get. We're talking about anywhere from a quarter to a half an inch possible. The, those higher totals up uh, about a half an inch. That could cause some major, major issues with power outages. And and as far as driving, it is very icy. I would say the best thing to do is avoid driving at all today and tomorrow morning as well. As far as power outages, we've already heard reports of that scattered, and that will probably increase throughout the afternoon into the evening. Take a look at uh, future casts. This is uh, this morning. Right now, we're looking at kind of that uh, sleet freezing rain mixture here north of here, Taylorsville, Greensboro, all the way to Morgan, to up into the mountains. We saw we saw the picture of West Jefferson. That is all snowfall there. Take you to another hour, basically the same. This is around 2.30 this afternoon. Notice the amount of rainfall over in areas around Rockingham and Waysboro. Their temperature is going to be right around 35 degrees, so that is a cold rain there. But once that starts to reach into the colder environment above us, then we start to see that rain turn into freezing rain, maybe some sleet here. And Maybe a little bit of sleet mix it in up in the North Carolina mountains. It's five o'clock this afternoon. That is more of that kind of icy mix from Statesville to Taylorsville in the mountains. Maybe a little bit of a break here. And then we see around nine o'clock tonight across the area, maybe some light snow, a changeover to all snow uh, from Charlotte to Lancaster, all the way across uh, parts of the upstate of South Carolina. First one Doppler radar right now. We're looking at snowfall across the mountain communities all the way along the I-40, I-77 corridor up into Virginia. And from Charlotte South, that's kind of that mix of snow sleet and freezing rain and all heavy rainfall once you get down towards Charleston and South Carolina. We'll take a look at the bigger view and you can see that spin from that area of low pressure. So what you see back to the southwest that eventually has to make it right into the Charlotte area. We kind of zoom in and show you north of here uh, all the way up towards Richmond, Virginia. They're starting to get in some light snow that does even over in that extreme northeastern part of the state uh, uh, getting some snowfall over there from Raleigh all the way to the western part of the state. Let's talk about the next 12 hours. We're going to be in the upper 20s, maybe a degree above freezing around 5 o'clock this afternoon, but for the most part, it's going to be in the upper 20s to low 30s, and that precipitation continues throughout the afternoon right into early evening across the area. Here's what we're talking about uh, up towards the mountains. A lot of snowfall up there, anywhere from maybe 8 to a, a foot of snow, 8 inches to a foot of snow out around Morganton, over towards areas uh, maybe around Lenore, Taylorsville, you could get anywhere from about 5 to 6 inches, and the major issue would be the amount of snow. Uh, heavy snow can hit those, uh, those trees, and impact trees as well. You know, the weighting down the, the tree limbs. So you can get some power outages there as well. Not expecting a lot of ice in those mountain communities. It's really the Charlotte area that's seen a lot more ice. We're seeing that sleet going to mix in with some freezing rain. Rain that hits the surface and freezes over. That's going to cause some major, major problems out there. We show you the seven day forecast to show you the variances in temperatures and what's going to happen weather wise for the entire week. Uh, not much more than the low 30s today. Tomorrow morning is going to be one of the biggest issues we're going to see during this storm. 
storm, and that's the ice that's going to cover every single road, every major highway, every secondary road. Uh, if you have to work tomorrow, you may want to try to work from home if you can do that. If not, just say call out. 41 degrees the high tomorrow. I would think that even Tuesday morning, if there's any meltdown at all, Monday afternoon with some sunshine, look at that temperature, 20 degrees. That's uh, Tuesday morning. That's going to be another issue of black ice. I think by the afternoon, things improve. We're up to about 50 degrees, a balmy 50 degrees midweek. Could be some rain around the area Thursday. And take a look at Friday, the potential for another little wintry mess on the way to the area. Ben? All right, Larry, thanks. Uh, folks, we have got our crews um, spread out all across the Carolinas. Let's go ahead and turn it out to Shamaria Morrison. She's live down, uh, down in South Carolina. Uh, so this is the first time we're checking in with you this morning. What do things look like where you are, Shay? Well, I think people have taken those warnings about staying inside if you need to very seriously. We were driving up here from North Carolina. Um, the highway was a pretty smooth ride in. You can tell that people um, were heeding those warnings. Again, we even saw some trucks that were trying to clear out that snow. Now those ramps to get on and off the highway, those weren't cleared as much. But like I said, there's not many people out on the road. You can even see the coat of snow um, that's still here. That means that it hasn't been driven through. So again, people are heating those warnings. Uh, we still feel these pebbly rocks just coming down on us, that wintry mix coming down. We have a few cars that are here at the gas station, but right now all is well. Um, we didn't see any accidents coming up, but you know, the further out you go, you might see some things, but if you can stay off the road, do so. Um, a lot of these stores around here are also closed, but I can tell you this much, we're right by a hotel and there's a lot of hotel parking lots that are, you know, pretty full. So that means people are trying to keep it inside. And we'll continue to kind of track what the conditions are out here as well. Shay, sounds good. You know what, folks, here's the deal. We've got Shay. We've probably got uh, more than a half a dozen other reporters out in the field trying to assess the situation. But one of our best tools is you, the, the folks at home. You, you can give us a good idea of what you're seeing on the ground. So uh, send us your photos. Let us know what you're seeing outside uh, your back door. We've got some photos we're going to show you so far. More than 800 people um, have sent us photos. I think we're going to go to these photos. There you go. Um, sending us photos uh, uh, of folks watching Larry A. Kershaw. I mean, any good weather watcher is going to include Larry in their in their regular habit, especially during bad weather. Uh, seeing lots of photos of dogs out there enjoying it. But as I've said this morning already, folks, this is the this is the pretty part of the situation um, for a lot of folks. This is going to turn a, a lot more dangerous in the, in the hours to come and into tonight and to tomorrow morning. But just seeing some great photos from Mount Island Lake as well um, from Hickory down to, to Newton, Blowing Rock down to Conover, um, Rock Hill, Fort Mill, you name it. Um, we've seen photos from you, so just keep them coming and let us know what what you're seeing uh, outside your door. Now let's go and go to Brandon Goldner. He's uh, live for us right now in North Charlotte uh, to let us know what they're seeing there. And I can tell already you, you're covered around snow. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's right, Ben. So we're in North Charlotte, just north of Uptown. We are taking a, lot, a look right now at the roadways, particularly this is Brookshire Freeway. This gives you a really good angle of how it's looking, what you're seeing on the road from above. Just you can see right down there that thick layer of that snow, sleet, and ice as this stinging sleet is coming through here. We're starting to see a little bit more cars than we started to in the morning, starting to see cars going moderate speed compared to well a lot of times you see a lot of those cars going 50 55 miles per hour we also have seen charlotte dot trucks coming through here we did see one dot truck that actually plowed one of the lanes a lot of the lanes going from i-77 to 277 take a look at that one lane over there that is clear that road excuse me that section of road was clear cleared about five minutes ago, maybe less than then. Already you're starting to see some of that sleet covering what that plow truck was trying to get rid of. A lot of these cars and over there on the other side of Brookshire Freeway, you can see a lot of them coming a little close to each other. It's important. We talk all the time about it from Highway Patrol giving that following distance. As we were driving, it was tough even with our windshield wipers because of this stinging sleet that is coming through here. If we can also, uh, Kevin, if we can also pan down just to give you an idea of what we're seeing untouched snow on the sidewalk. Going to dig through here, right here, and it takes 
right beneath all of this snow, and I'm going to try to brush this off a little bit, there's still this thick layer of ice that is right in here, and that's the dangerous part. That is what is concerning a lot of people. And actually, let's pop up real quick. We're seeing a brine truck just over there. Sorry about that. We missed that, but they've been coming through here this entire time. Again, it is important to keep slow down because it's that thick layer of ice that is underneath this uh, layer of snow and sleet that is through here. That is what's causing a lot of this danger. Something else to keep in mind in our photog, the man behind the camera, Kevin Wardlaw, was telling me how this is a good location because you can barely see uptown Charlotte. The skyline is fogged up right now just because of how thick this weather is that is coming through here. We're starting again to see more cars. We haven't been hearing as much about crashes, which is good, but what has been alarming is seeing a lot more cars in the last half hour than we saw originally. So that's something that is incredibly alarming to see as we're starting to see more of this traffic. That's why we're out here to show you what's going on so that you don't have to come out here to see for yourself. They are emphasizing again to limit travel and to prevent what we had seen in the mountains a week ago where cars were just trapped as they're coming up US 321 and that's preventing the plows from getting through there. So please stay safe at home. We're going to keep an eye out on conditions here. We'll send it back to you all at this time from to the studio. Yeah, to give people some uh, some sort of context, you're standing on a bridge that basically connects North Charlotte over to the Music Factory. The Music Factory is right behind you and that section of the Berkshire typically bumper to bumper at, at most times of the day because traffic is so bad. It, 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 it's, it's good to see that uh, folks minding some of the warnings and, and at least going slow out there. Brandon, keep us posted. Thank you.